Métis people, we all came from somewhere else. And so we are making this country and this province together, and we are making it better year by year and day by day. But it is also very clear to me that we don't have to look very long at the news to understand that there are issues that can push us apart. There are people who would choose to drive us apart and who would rather sow conflict than harmony. And so we, all of us as Canadians, as Pakistani Canadians, as Irish Canadians, as Indo-Canadians, all of us together, we have to find ways to build on that harmony that really is Canada. And when we talk about a multicultural society or a pluralistic society, it takes a lot of energy and time and thought and every day in our workplaces, wherever we are, in our homes, in our communities, to instill in our children an understanding of how being different is what we are as Canadians and that that makes us who we are and that that is our strength. So it's not, it's not just something that we put up with or something that we tolerate. It actually defines who we are. So I am, I am more than thrilled to be here and to represent as, a, as an MPP, as Shafiq said, to represent Don Valley West, which has a huge population of Pakistani Canadians but Canadians from all over the world. So that kind of diversity, that's right. That kind of diversity, when Dipika and Shafiq and I are at Queen's Park, we have that lens. When we look at policies and we think about how to take decisions, we are thinking about it because we, as we represent communities with people from all over the world and people with different perspectives, and that's a gift. So thank you very much to all of you. We are blessed as a province to have you as part of our community. And all of you here tonight playing a role in strengthening, uh, in strengthening our province. Our job as politicians is to develop policies in conjunction with you to make investments in education and in health care, in social services, in infrastructure, because I know that in this community, infrastructure and transportation is one of the highest priorities that we can, uh, that we can identify. It's our responsibility to make those investments and make those decisions for the long term. I know that this is a community that thinks about the children and the grandchildren and what the society is going to look like for our children and our grandchildren. Well, that's the way we are making policies as well. I've had the opportunity to spend a little bit of time with my grandchildren who are five and two and a half and nine months. And they are the future. I look at them and I think about what is it that I'm doing today that's going to make the world better for them and for your children and for your grandchildren. So that's the kind of government that we are striving to be. I am very, very grateful for the mandate that uh, we have been given as of June the 12th. And I want you to know we are going to do everything in our power to live up to the expectations of this community and all of the communities in Ontario. Inshallah, we will be able to do that. So, Eid Mubarak, I know that you have had a long Ramadan with long days, long summer days, um, and, uh, and uh, Pakistan is in the back. Thank you very much. We'd like to respectfully invite the entire board of the Pakistani Canadian Community Center to please have a photograph and accept a small token of our appreciation on behalf of the